have their own little passions and obsessions. <laughs> First time I've prepared it out of the out of the barrel, it's just like yeah, it's amazing. And just fallen in love with a variety and thought maybe I can do that here. Wine writers have been pretty honest that they have to go to a, a map and work out where the geograph region is. So the geograph is located in Western Australia, approximately an hour and a half south of Perth, north of the world famous Margaret River. We're a bit of a pioneering region, so I think when we started out we looked for how can we be a little bit different. The first step was Dad going, oh well, let's plant a patch of grapes and see how it goes. Someone would say, oh yeah we've got this variety, and I was like, I've heard of that. People did think we were a bit crazy because they're unheard of. Some of the varieties are hard to say. Graffiano, Mavir, you know, people can't get their mouth around the word. Uh, they do like to get their mouth around the line. But... Our landscape stretches from an amazing coastline, then it travels across that into the hinterland. We go from sand to loamy soils to beautiful green outlooking hills. It's just quite amazing. There's a lot of regions outside of the geograph that source fruit from the geograph because they're looking for that approachability, that juiciness, that deliciousness, you know. And we produce something like over 36 different varieties come out of this geograph wine region today, from A to Z. You can pick up a Tarrega, or a GSM, or a Grenache, or a Tempranillo, or a Fiano, Vermentino, Riesling. They're all brilliantly executed here. How do you put it? The cool kids in the wine bars, they're the ones that love our wines. And I think any wine buyers or sommeliers looking for their unicorn wines, what better wine than from an unheard of wine region in Australia? We've, we've taken adventure just to grow the grapes and I'd like to think that the consumers will see that adventure and be adventurous to try it. But the wine has to show, you know, the wine has to stand up. I nominated this Gamay for the top Gamay in Australia for the Wine Companion and it's a very formal tasting scenario, but I was getting sort of thumbs up and... I don't think they've been sleeping on the region because we haven't provided them with something to talk about. But if they're not aware of it now, they're sleeping on it. <laughs>